Eddie Reed was completely healthy when he was born and his mum, Jennifer, couldn't have been happier. But when he was just three months old, Eddie died of sudden infant death syndrome, or cot death. It's every parent's worst nightmare um, to lose a child, but to lose a child with no reason. On every medical test possible, Eddie was perfectly healthy. There was no reason, no attributable cause, no finger to point makes that grief so much harder to bear. Despite medical assurances that there was nothing that we could have done, you still can't help but feel guilty that I wasn't able to protect Eddie. In the 1980s, around 2,000 babies in the UK died from sudden infant death syndrome every year. Since the 90s, that figure has fallen dramatically after parents were told not to sleep babies on their fronts or smoke near them. But around 232 babies still die every year. That's more than four babies each week. When, you know, Parents like Jennifer want to know why cot death occurs. New research by scientists suggests in some cases it could be caused by a rare genetic mutation. Um, we do think that in the infants where we saw the gene changes, this may have uh, caused some vulnerability of the breathing muscles and we think that may have contributed to why some of those infants died. But it's very clear because we didn't find these gene changes in the majority of infants, other factors still have a, a very strong contributing role. Jennifer now has a two-year-old son and baby daughter Chloe but says they'll never forget Eddie. I'd like to call it happy sad. So we are happier but it will always be tinged with sadness because Chloe now completes us but Eddie will always be their older brother and will always be in our hearts forever. We're still a long way from knowing exactly what causes sudden infant death syndrome, but Jennifer says she'll keep campaigning to help other parents avoid such a devastating loss. Leila Hayes, 5 News.